So, hello everybody, it's a small video to talk about my Kickstarter experience. Uh, so, me and my partner Camilla, we did the Kickstarter for Zine Quest 3, and it was an adventure we were working on for a while. It's, uh, at first, it was called Abandoned Farmland as a working title, and eventually, it became How the Weeds Grow Tall. And it's uh, an adventure that was built around a map I drew, so I, I drew a map about an abandoned farmland and with path in a field with high grass and stuff. And well, I just did the map like that with no idea. And so uh, I started writing description and Camilla was really liking it. So she she joined me and we were making description together. And so what we were doing is that I did like a first pass over the location and kind of passed it over them, adding details and stuff. And after that, we've discussed these location together and added some more detail about the characters. About, and we were noticing like interesting interaction and, and putting emphasis on them. Uh, so that was really fun. And as we were doing that, I was inspired to draw more illustrations. And sometime also, I was drawing an illustration. And we were like, oh, we could use that illustration as fun. Let's integrate it in the adventure in a module. So that was nice. And uh, later, Camilla did some playtesting. She playtested the adventure two times with two different groups. She did one uh, that lasted two sessions and the other lasted four sessions. Uh, so the basic premise is that there was a uh, a family that had a long history of interacting with fairies uh, and that they had like a old field uh, behind their farmland that was enchanted and protected by the fairies and especially two fairies that are inspired from Slavic mythology the main one being the noon lady uh, like the the noon maiden uh, well it's, the, it's like a, a woman figure that punish people who don't work hard enough or who during that you need to be careful with during the noon because they, she will sun strike people and make them dizzy or sick and so yeah we work it with from that inspiration for that and we've used other fairies from slavic mythology well i mean more like slavic folklore and so we improvise with that. We we build a lot of things and, and fun interaction. And what is really great is that from uh, Camilla Plates, how the relationship between the fairies and the the family members and there's a lot of things going on that are very interactive. And so both group really interacted with these in a different way. There is different solution to conclude the the scenario. And I think. What we did that is really nice is that the way the scenario was built, I think it creates interesting, you know, memories because like the way things are built, these interactions are very interesting and I, I, I really like how it goes because everybody in the field, like how the fairies can potentially be allies or can be you can communicate with them but even if you do they can still be dangerous so it's like a lot of shades of grace but not in well i mean still in a fairyland kind of weird way and so it's really interesting even even the family members so all family members have kind of vanished in the field and they they're all being influenced by the field by the fairy by the enchantment the fairy magic so some of them don't necessarily want to come back so there, there's a lot of going on, it's really interesting. And I'm really looking to see how it will go with other people when they will play the game, when they will play the, the, the scenario, I mean, and to see how it will went, what they will take as a direction and stuff, and how how their interaction will be with the different uh, fairies in the field. So that's really interesting. And we also put a lot of personal things into uh, the module, I, I, well, I'd say not really us, but like bits of me and Camilla <laughs> have feed some of the the creature, especially the, I would say the, the noon lady and the midnight maiden, that are the two fairy spirits that are kind of in a relationship together. Uh, 
it's not really a relationship or anything but i mean there's some well there's some sense thing that we are sensitive to that we've put into these things so yeah i think that's not something important for me when i do a module on adventures uh, i want to you know to so that there's something personal from me and from the people i work with that end up in in the, the scenario of the module so yeah i'm really happy with the result i think it's the best thing i've done so far uh, like it's very finished it's very playable it's really streamlined we've worked a thing and we use body points like we've made a good effort in uh communicating communicating efficiently to the game master so that he can use it can he easily or she can easily use the text to run the adventure without you know searching through the text having to take note and highlighting stuff uh, i mean well maybe some would still do that but i think we did a good job on that and so and die sugar is now working the layout so the text is all written it's finished we've been over it a few times and uh, now we are m moving the layout files uh, phase i still have to do some uh, illustrations but uh, everything is sketched so that's nice so i just need to finish some of these sketches and yeah i still need to do the cover art the cover art will probably be in colors I think it will be because the Kickstarter went well, so we can afford colors, and I, I want to make something beautiful. <laughs> it's stressing me a lot, so uh, it's a bit harder for me to do a great cover. But I will get there. I will get there. I'll always end up uh, <laughs> making it okay. Um, yeah. So this is the, f the next step. So finishing the layout. After that, me finishing illustration, the covers, and. I hope that we'll be able to deliver the PDF in May, you know, in April, I mean, and the uh, print version in May. But since the first time we're doing that, don't take this date as fixed, but let's hope, <laughs> let's hope it will be uh, April and May. We, we know maybe before that if we're, if things go better than we expect, uh, it's possible. And as for running Kickstarter itself, I would say that it was a very stressful experience especially at first so the, um, the kickstarter was really hard for me like handling the numbers meeting the estimate and worrying about tax about distribution about so i if it was only me alone i will not have made it i think i will have like drop out at that phase but luckily camilla is good to handle these things and she was helping me and there was also other people were helping us both of us that we were about to talk with uh, so so we were able to pass through that first step that is setting up the kickstarter page and setting up all the parameters and like the price and the stuff so this, this is the big stressful step uh, and i think it's a it's a big barrier of entry like if you're a more uh, sensitive artist <laughs> who really don't have any business uh, sensitivity or tolerance stress and we do a lot of anxiety like i am it's it's a bar it's a strong barrier entry i don't think that kickstarter and Zine quest is like that easy to jump into as as some person as some people want to say but still it's still possible and we did it and so after that launching the the kickstarter and everything and it was also bit stressful it was also very exciting and i'm really glad it did well so we had 577 backer which is really good and i was very surprised by that and we did not our promotion was very minimal like we've shared me and come over share a few times on twitter facebook and elsewhere but we, we did not like do anything special and it just spread uh two friends and or allies and i'm really thankful for them i think other people probably have shared elsewhere on forums and stuff so i'm very thankful for that uh like i was playing being a very sensitive person being a trans woman so there's a lot of forum or role playing game space that i avoid i just keep to my small safe uh community small community on discord so i don't have a lot of reach uh, but i think that 
but it helped me a lot for that is that like I'm, when I'm interacting with people online on Twitter and everything I really care about the quality of the interaction I try, I try to be friendly, honest and genuine and so that that's I, that I pay off in a way and people have respond well and yeah I'm super happy with the results of the Kickstarter it was it's really encouraging it's really saying to me on camera that we need to do more project and I think we really want to do more um, I so the recent years I had a lot of difficulties finishing project and yeah teaming up with my partner is really amazing we're, we're it helped me a lot it balanced me because I'm so much in the realm of ideas uh, and sensitivity and stuff that I've often a hard time focusing and making my things become real and and Canada is helping me a lot on that level um, so that's that's great and we are also I mean inspiring each other and uh, showing each idea between us so that's also very nice uh, uh, I really like that and it's motivating me to interact with someone <coughs> so yeah I don't know yet what will be your future project but uh, yes there will be more that's for sure uh, so right now we're still cooling down from the Kickstarter and we're still in a slow mode uh, we're not super predictive right now but Kevin is working on other things as for me well I'm trying to finish the illustration for the for the design uh, Eventually, I want to get back to Abitomaga structures. I don't know yet when this will happen, but it will happen at some point. And so, yeah, this is very encouraging, and I'm very thankful to everyone in the community that they support us. And yeah, I'm so looking for you to read the adventure and give us some feedback and to play it and to tell us about these sales. So, that's quite nice, and yeah. It's good to have positive things <laughs> happening after oh my god this winter the, it was hard it was a lot of time it was difficult but this was this was a big positive and it's very encouraging and, and give me a sense of uh, you know accomplishment having like finished something that was something i was really looking for like feeling like i done something that has been finished uh, yeah, so <laughs> events the project's not yet finished. I, I see the end line and I see the all the piece coming together, and yeah, it's, that's really encouraging. <laughs> okay, so thank everyone, and I hope that all your project is doing well. And that if you've participated in the quest, I hope that's going well for you too. And I am so collaborating on the Kickstarter project for the quest as an illustrator and I'm also looking for doing that and yeah this is a thing that's going on and let's keep things positive and creative let's focus on what we can do and what we can create and, and let's hope that what we do and create inspire others and make people want to desire to do more positive things which each other each other and interacting and uh, inspiring each other this is what I love from role-playing game community okay Bye everyone, uh, bye 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 bye.